G'day everyone, this is uh, Paul Williamson from Paul Williamson Golf here with my another video tip for uh, all you weekend hackers out there, all you uh, social golfers, all of those of you who just want to play a little bit better whenever you're out there. So I'm going to go through a typical scenario that I see here at the uh, driving range all the time. So I just want you to come down with me here and um, here's a golf bag. I go down the range all the time. I'll sit there and basically be having a look in someone's golf bag and I'll ask them, hey, do you use the uh, same golf ball every time you play? And this is generally what we find. So if you have a look in here, there's a whole stack of balls, right? Now, as I pull some out here, we've got a uh, Titleist DT True Soft. There we go. Pretty soft ball, that one. What's this one? Ah, the old Dunlop 65. There we go. Just going to do a little experiment here. I'm just going to put the, uh, the phone down. And I want you to listen to the noise that these two golf balls make, okay? So just bear with me here a little bit. Have a listen. Okay, that's the uh, Dunlop 65. Now here is the Titleist DT Soft. Let me do that again for you. Okay, have a listen. Titleist DT Soft. Dunlop 65. You might be sitting there going, what are you going on about, Paul? Why are we doing that? Well, this Titleist is quite possibly one of the softest balls off the club face. This one here, DD... Uh, sorry, the uh, Dunlop 65 is really hard. How's this going to affect your golf? Well, without you having to do anything different, you want to be more consistent? How about you just get the same golf ball to play with every time? I know there's many of you out there who start off with the brand new, the Titleist, the, you know, fantastic. You're playing great for the first six holes. Hit that one in the water. You're really angry. You're pissed off. You go to your bag. You pull out the nearest one, and it happens to be the Dunlop 65 which, as you could just hear, is a very hard ball compared to a soft ball. You get onto the next screen. You've been chipping and putting really well, and all of a sudden, the same kind of putt that you just hit on the last goes six foot past, because instead of being nice and soft like this one, it was hard like this one. So what's the point of the story? Well, if you want to be more consistent, which is pretty much what everyone's looking for, how about you start with your equipment? Now, I'm not going to tell you which ball to use. Obviously, these Titleists are nice and soft and a top quality ball, great ball. Even if you just want to use this one, though, make sure it's the same one every time so that when you're playing around a golf and you actually hit a putt uh, on every green, the ball comes off at the same distance. It's called getting accurate feedback. If you weren't getting accurate feedback from your equipment at work, I'm pretty sure you'd change that equipment real fast and get something that was more consistent. So just think about that. Um, think about just making sure it's the same golf ball. Obviously, these Titleists, ball I use, they're fantastic. Pro V1X, great. Sounds like a big advertisement, but they're the number one ball in golf for a reason because they're the most consistently made ball. You go and pull anything out of the dam like that, great, but good luck trying to find, you know, a couple of dozen Dunlop 65 nowadays, so it might be a bit hard to be consistent. But there's a reason you should be using the same golf ball every time and not whatever you find in the dam or whatever your mates give you. So... Just make sure you've got the same golf ball. You might be sitting there going, oh, yeah, but, you know, that's so expensive. Well, go down to the second-hand ball shop and buy a whole heap of the same golf ball and just fill your bag up with it. You know, that doesn't have to be expensive. And then every time you win a ball in the pro shop, go in, ask, hey, listen, the Titleist DT Soft is my ball. Hey, pro, give me the same ball. That's how you end up being more consistent just through golf equipment. So I hope that tip helps you today. Hope it helps you tomorrow the next time you play a game of golf. So that's me for now. We'll see you next time.